Yo, 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 what is up, either gang? Here to drop another trade review on SPX, looking at SPY, of course. Um, but today, we took a quick trade from 1034 to about the end of the 1040 candle. We did really good on this in stream as well. Um, I don't normally like taking as many uh, trades on stream because it does apply a little bit extra pressure, of course, reading comments and really just seeing other people um, talk kind of messes with it. But today, ended up doing it on stream, was very happy with it. Real quick, I want to break down what I did in this trade, so we'll remove the drawings and go back to see what I did. Um, but again, we had really good levels, of course. You, you can see I don't have them on here just because I just wanted to show you the trade itself. But even though we had a good hold with the lower open, we had a good higher low, we ended up moving up higher. You can still catch good opportunities like this, um, but you shouldn't try this for every single dip. Of course, some dips, of course, this one's a decent size, this one not as much, this one a lot larger, and then, of course, the one at end of day also not that big so you can see you can find these moves every single day but not all of them are going to keep dumping so please be passive when you take these trades um, but again the main reason of the trade was that we pushed over this high right here pushed over this high held good bullish breakout like we talked about in stream and then we finally got our first real slowdown so i started watching this got our first green candle so i went from the high of this move on the five minute to the low of this candle here because this was our first maybe lead test it wasn't a real lead test because it didn't actually break any base but it was the first real pullback we had so i wanted to see what kind of rejection will we get um, then i went down to the one minute and that is when i started watching for the trade so i saw us again this is the move here before they got the bounce up within three minutes they made it back up to this resistance and gave us an inside candle on the next candle they broke lower that's when i got in it was towards the middle of this candle uh, when it was forming but i like that it, it opened lower under the inside candle under the control point so it was very early retest it, i would have preferred coming up here making a lower high first but they made it here and then they came came up right after i entered indecisive candle ended up making a lower high here another bearish engulfing stepped in so i was very happy with that was very happy with my entry should have taken profits here this is the ideal exit making it to this recent low the low of where you draw your fib from you need to be selling there i ended up holding through because i was happy with the play i should have scaled out two out of three here and then sold the third here but i ended up just holding all three we ended up making a little bit over 300 dollars on that trade was very very happy with that but again it's just a very basic lead test there was nothing crazy about it sometimes there's the variation where we come up here then we make our lower high sometimes i'm taking the risk on us just hitting the control point and if i see an inside bar like this then i can't i'm really just looking for patterns against you know with positioning against resistance we had an inside bar broke lower what did we get on the second a bearish engulfing that should even be giving me even more confidence to take that trade back to this low on a same day spx that is very good profits will this work out on spy trades not as much you'll probably not make as much percentage wise and it won't move as much um if you want to grab you know spy to practice these bigger trades you can this is definitely fine uh, but the grand scheme of things is to to aim catching uh quick spx trades again size and then getting out really fast not looking to hold the trade crazy especially if it goes against you if this would have, the next candle would have opened higher and started breaking this candle i probably would have closed it even if it didn't break over the control point just because my whole thing was finding the inside candle liking the lower open and knowing that this is bearish knowing this just off of my swing trading you know knowing that just from there it helped me out in this trade but end up taking really good profits on that i'll throw the screenshot up at the beginning um, but I hope you guys enjoy this breakdown. I'll definitely post more. And if guys, if you take a trade, go post a review. You know, the gains are cool and all, but go post a review. Go post that. That's that's really what helps you grow more is the reasoning behind the things you're doing. So go back over them, post them in the YouTube server, post them in the Discord server, wherever you guys want. Would definitely love to see your guys' trades. Um, again, call, show your entry, show your exit, talk about some of your emotions. You know, what were you feeling during parts of the trade? What'd you like? What'd you not like? And then talk about the story of the chart. What happened? What kind of candlestick appeared where? What happened where? You know, just, just break it down. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you on the next one.